vacation and some study leave time, and I had a wonderful time. The weather was perfect, clear, and bright, and it was a very productive little break for me. But you know, when I'm away, I miss you. And when I come back here after being away, it's like coming back into the loving arms of a wonderful, gracious family. What a pleasure to come in the doors. And I'm always amazed at all the people I meet who are filled with joy and goodness and hope and peace and grace. And I'm amazed because we live in a world and we all of us have a personal life that brings with it trouble and sadness and grief and sorrow. And isn't it the greatest thing that even in the midst of suffering, we have rejoicing and we have peace. Now just in case any of you have forgotten the reasons you have to be miserable and sad and untrusting, let me just remind you of a few of those. On a global level, we should all be terribly worried about the environment, about oil spills pouring out into the beautiful ocean and destroying life. We should all be gravely concerned about global warming. We should all be terrified of the possibility of a complete global economic failure. What has happened in Greece threatens to happen in other European nations, in Great Britain, in the United States, and Canada. We should be concerned about war and the possibility for terrorism. And then on a personal level, every one of you should be gravely concerned about your health, the health of your heart and your other organs. You should be concerned and worried about your families, their health, their strength, their future, not to mention your own personal economic situation. Have I made you miserable? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm amazed. People have laughter. People greet each other with smiles. People interact with each other with grace and kindness and goodness. People have happiness. And I'm absolutely thrilled and amazed by that. And I wonder what gives human beings happiness in the midst of so many things that could go wrong. And the answer is this. We are all suffering a terrible infection. We are infected by hope. We have this hope and trust and peace and confidence that in spite of all the things that have gone wrong and are going wrong right now and might yet go wrong in the future, we still have the goal to smile and to laugh and to tell each other jokes and to surround each other with grace and peace. And I am amazed by the power of the hope that is in you and the way in which you are all hope casters. Send hope out into the world of sadness and grief and what a powerful witness that is to our confidence that God is love, that God is with us, that God will be in our future and that life is wonderfully worthwhile and joyful in spite of suffering and sickness and sorrow and even death which we all encounter on a regular basis. <laughs>